Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be discussing how to reserve stock in a sales order document. Now the reserving of stock allows you to put certain quantities aside in the sales order specific to that transaction. Let's see exactly how this process unfolds. Before we begin processing transactions, we need to implement an important parameter under our order defaults. So under order entry maintenance, I'm going to go through to order defaults. And under the sales order tab, we have an option to activate reserve stock. So I'm going to select that option and we can activate reserve stock. Say so okay to implement the reserve stock feature and we can then move on to our order entry transactions sales order. And what you notice is that on the sales order lines, we now have a reserved column. So before we process the transaction, let's just go have a look at the item which we're going to be using to showcase the reserve stock features. So under inventory, I'm going to go through to inventory items. And let's just go find the item. Right, so I'm going to inquire the item and go to the item information tab. And you'll notice is that we've got a quantity section there and we currently have 70 units on hand and 70 units available. Right, so now we can go process a sales order and reserve the units on that sales order of this item. Order entry transactions, sales order, Right, so I'm going to specify the customer. The stock item. We ask information. And we currently have 70 available and the order is going to be for 15 units. I'm also going to reserve those 15 units for this transaction. Right, and there we have it. Sales order number, 15 ordered, 15 reserved. And we'll place the order. Let's just go see what has happened on the item itself after we've reserved the quantities. So I'm gonna go through to my inventory items. Once again, inquire. And on the item information tab, you notice is now we've got on hand 70, available 55, sales order is 15, and reserved quantity is also 15. So the 70 quantity on hand signifies is that there's 70 units within the warehouse. The quantity available signifies 55, which means is that we've got 55 units, which we can still sell to customers. And then we've got our 15 units on sales order. And within the sales order, there's also reserved quantity of 15. Right, now we can simply go and revert back to our sales order, complete the sales order, and convert that into a sales order invoice. So back to my sales order. I'm going to go through to open. Find an unprocessed sales order. Right, there we have an unprocessed sales order. 
and I'm now going to convert the sales order into a sales order invoice. So quantity 15, reserve quantity. I'm now going to confirm those 15 units. Right, and I can process the transaction. We can then view our sales order invoice. Right, so they ordered 15, invoice the 15 units, and that process has now been completed. Let's just go look at impact that transaction has had on the item itself. So back to inventory items. I'm going to go and inquire on the item. And if I go to item information, we see that we now have quantity on hand 55, quantity available 55, and after processing the sales order, the reserve quantity and the quantity in sales order have now been cleared and are set to zero. So as you can see, we have the ability to reserve stock items on the sales order, which means that those items have been set aside specifically to fulfill that particular transaction. And it's also very importantly to remember that in order for you to make use of the reserve stock feature, you need to go to order entry maintenance and under the order defaults, proceed to the sales order tab and ensure that the activate reserve stock feature has been selected. Thank you for tuning into our presentation today. It's overnight for me and goodbye.